Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, I have just flashed the Uber Ginger Sense Beta 1, and I'm going to now restart the phone so that we can see it um, out of the box. Like I said, I was going to review it so we can see exactly what's going to happen after, as soon as you flash this ROM. So let's go ahead and reboot. Okay. Um, that's my custom um, startup screen that I had made following the following the guide in the uh, Bible section. Really easy to do. Um, I actually made this in Photoshop in like five seconds. So give it a second to start up here. Again, I'm, I haven't touched this from I haven't even looked at it myself. So we this is the first time I'm going to be seeing everything. So if I mess up a little on the video, just understand that if this is the first time I'm seeing it. So here's our boot screen. Pretty cool. Um, so a little quote here. I like this boot screen. It's um, official. So um, since this is a sense ROM, it could take a while to get initially started because sense ROMs are just huge because just the, that's the nature of them because HTC Sense is not light whatsoever um, so it could be a while before this is booted I might cut out some of the uh, weight so that it because it might be too much time to upload we'll see what happens um, if you want to you can just fast forward until I actually start playing with the ROM if you don't want to sit here and listen to my amazing voice Like I said, this could take a while because sense ROMs are just huge. They're about two to three times the size of a regular um, AOSP ROM. So, because this ROM was, how big was this ROM? Hold on. Oh, it looks like we're booted up here. All right. Um. So here we go. This is. Um. It looks a little bit customized. Lock screen there. Um. So we're going to start it up here. Now please note that he did say in the beginning that there is no APN settings. So I'm going to have to um, go in and change that. I'm not going to do it right now in the video because I'm just going to mess with the system. We're not going to really have to worry about the internet too much. If we do, I'll just go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and unlock. Again, if you're just tuning in here, if you're fast forwarding, this is the first boot. So, everything's going to be a wait. Um, Sense is now just getting started up here. So, we know how that goes. If, you, if you've used a Sense ROM before, if not, then um, Sense ROMs tend to take a while just to get started up here because of how huge they are. Alright, I speak English. Did I hit the button? Yeah, I did. It's lagging. Um, yes, I know, but I don't feel like doing it. I know how to use the keyboard. Um, this is something that comes with sense in case you're just now um, coming from an older type phone. Say I'm coming from a Nokia, you know, a regular style phone with everything was stored on the SIM card. They've built in here so that you can transfer everything over. Don't need to do that because I use Google for everything. Um, I use both of them. Automatically sync data. Uh, let's, why not, let's switch there here, this is my open network, go ahead and connect, just a few seconds here, the router's going to accept the connection, um, so right now, it's some raw experience of how the Wi-Fi works, because it's one thing that can be sketchy in some ROMs, it looks like this one's working just fine, so we're all connected to the Wi-Fi here, uh, yes, accept, Google can stalk me, Okay, I don't feel like syncing up any accounts right now, so let's go ahead and get started. 
already. So you saw the little Uber thing right there. He had his little splash screen in. So since it's starting, there goes the live wallpaper that it comes with. Um, so tips. So here we go. It looks pretty much like a stock sense ROM would. Um, it's actually not that far from the other ROM that I used. Uh, I forget the name of it. Um, I couldn't tell you right now, but it looks like the same exact setup. Um, we got the pinch to go right here. The ROM feels very smooth. You can see that there's not any lag whatsoever between um, switching. That's one thing I look for is lag when I'm swiping through. If, the, if it lags and I'm not touching the ROM, if it doesn't lag, then the ROM is good. So I do that. Um, here we go. All apps. Let's see what it comes installed with here. Um, all the regular stuff, camcorder, car panel, flashlight, FM radio, cyber on voice it comes with, um, let's see, all the regular stuff, yep, mm -hmm. comes with quick, quick office, I think that comes with most sense ROMs, you can rerun the setup, comes with SoundHound, comes with super user, comes with Teeter, um, so to give some system level review, let's check out how the accelerometer works on this ROM. You can see that sound is working just fine. Um, so, looks like the accelerometer is working just fine. I can't, I suck at this game. Yep, working just fine there. Let's exit here. Alright, since I've opened something, let's go ahead and see what happens if I hold this down. Alright, we get the recent. That's used, that can be assigned to some kind of multitasking. Let's see, sometimes there's multitasking here. Comes with two voice commander things and the stock search. Um, so overall the ROM looks pretty good right now. I will consider using it for a while. I have to go ahead and make reviews for the other ROMs as well. So, um, again, there's not really much to say here. It's Sense. If you've used Sense then you know what it is. If not, then I suggest you play with it yourself. I don't really have that much time to go through and open each and every single individual thing. Um, if you've been using Android, then you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Um, again, I do have to tell you that you will have to set up the APN settings. So please take note of that. Don't get angry when you flash the ROM and it says it right there in the thread in big green letters. He does not have the APN settings in here. Um, I assume that he'll add that in the second version. I would hope so, to make that easier for our new members that wouldn't really understand what APN settings are or what they mean, and they would probably just see that they have to do it and then figure that it's already done for them, I don't know, but because if you've been on the threads. So anyway, uh, ROM looks pretty good. I'm going to sign off now because there's not really much else to do here. Um, again, everything looks like it's working fine right here, quick settings, notifications, he said that he's going to make this transparent, um, so that's pretty much it, let's see, hold on, one more thing that I like to look at is what wa live wallpapers are installed, Ooh. I'm looking at through the camera here, there we go, um, so the classic ones, not that big of a deal, so I'm going to sign off now, um, have fun with this ROM, thank you very much, uh, Joe, Joe LZ 9614 for this ROM. I look forward to further releases and thanks for coming over to the My Touch 4G section. Alright, signing off. Thanks.